heating by sunlight is the source of energy for all changes in the weather. This heat evaporates water from oceans, lakes, and earth, and changes it into water vapor. The sun heats the earth and the oceans and lakes, and it causes the vapor to rise. As it rises, it cools and condenses and makes all the clouds that we see in the skies. All the clouds have been formed cause the land and sea were warmed and the vapor goes up with the air. And you know that water evaporates when you see those clouds up there. Evaporation and condensation The water cycle, the water cycle Followed by precipitation The water cycle, the water cycle The rain and the hail and the sleet and the snow Falling down on the land and the sea Fill the lakes and the ponds and the rivers that flow To the oceans continually And the heaving sun just repeats what it has done And the vapor goes up with the air and you know that water can circulate when you see those clouds up there evaporation and condensation the water cycle the water cycle followed by precipitation the water cycle the water cycle the never ending Cycle is taking place all the time and everywhere. Yes, you can believe your eyes. These beautiful young ladies are riding on only one wheel. This is called a unicycle. Uni means one, while cycle means wheel. So they are riding on a one-wheel cycle. Bi means two. A bicycle has two wheels, and yes, a tricycle has three wheels. So tri means three. In size, a cycle can be represented by a wheel that is constantly turning. You will study many cycles in science. Today, we will discuss the water cycle. We can start at any location in the cycle. The song started at evaporation. So, let's start at precipitation. During precipitation, water falls to the ground in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail. The water gathers in streams and runs into ponds, lakes, and eventually into the sea. This is called runoff. 
Some water also seeps into the ground. This water is called groundwater. Groundwater may eventually be returned to the surface by springs. Just as a bicycle must be pedaled, the water cycle must have a source of energy. The water cycle's energy source is the sun. Water that is exposed to sunlight heats up. When the water molecules gain enough heat energy, they escape into the atmosphere as water vapor. This process is called evaporation. While in the air, the water vapor cools. After cooling, water will form tiny water droplets or ice crystals. The process is called condensation and produces the clouds that are in our skies. When these droplets of water or ice crystals are large enough, they will fall as precipitation and we will have completed the cycle or gone around the wheel. The cycle does not end here. The sun continues to heat the earth, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff all continue. These four processes all occur at the same time.